Many of you are already aware that monarch butterflies are in trouble. I grew up here in Los Osos, California, which is overwintering habitat for the western monarchs. When I was a kid in the 1990s, we would see millions of these butterflies covering the trees all over the habitat. And now, if we're lucky, we see a couple thousand of them each year. So we've lost something like 90% or more of the population. What is going on and how can we help these butterflies? The number one issue facing monarch butterflies and many other species on our planet is habitat loss. This is when we, as humans, convert diverse native plant communities into things like monocrop agricultural fields or suburban and urban spaces that have a lot of dead zones like parking lots, concrete, buildings. So how can we work to solve this problem? The most important thing we can do is convert these altered habitats back into a natural habitat state. So we want to promote natural biodiversity, we want to bring back native plants, and the animals will return if the plant communities are healthy. So we need to rethink our industrial agricultural practices and instead think about permaculture, food forests, and traditional ecological knowledge. We should be listening to the voices of indigenous peoples who have been here for thousands of years. We should be working on converting our urban and suburban spaces into habitat, places that animals can use for resources alongside humans. We can learn which species of plants are native to our areas and how they form healthy communities. And we can plant these plants in our environment, in our yards, in our commercial spaces. We can rethink how we use the land and what our relationship with it is like. This is a new work in progress composition sketch that I've just finished. It's going to be a painting on a birch panel and it shows the western monarch in relationship with the native milkweed. This is Asclepius speciosa. It's the showy milkweed. And as you can see, humans are in the mix with the plant and the butterfly. We are in relationship with all of the organisms around us and we are literally related. We share large amounts of the same DNA. So we must not forget that these are our relatives, literally. And we have a responsibility as the land caretakers to make sure that our relationship with these relatives is respectful, is healthy, is equitable, is just, and is beautiful for everyone. And if we want to reach that future, my friends, we need to make sure that we are planning and creating a society that achieves that goal.